Hey cosplayers, I'm Skylar Osler, and in today's apprenticeship, I'll be teaching you how to make Kylo Ren's lightsaber from Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, using PVC pipe and an off-the-shelf thermoplastic. Make sure to stay tuned to the end for a chance to win this lightsaber. Are you ready to make Kylo Ren's lightsaber? Let's get started. Begin by downloading and printing off the template I made for you in the description below. Start by softening one cup of polyplastics thermoplastic and roll it out flat in a 13 by 9 cookie sheet. I have dyed the plastic red to make it show up better on camera. You can leave yours white. With your template, cut out all of the pieces. The ones on the left of the template will be used to measure and cut PVC. And the ones on the right you will trace onto your plastic sheet, label, and number them according to your template as you can see here. Using the J stencil, Tape it onto the end of a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe with the solid end towards the inside of the pipe. Trace out all of the edges and then remove the stencil. Cut the PVC along the bottom line and on to the next. Now with your E stencil, do the same thing on the other factory edge of your one and a quarter inch PVC pipe. Once again, hold on to the stencil we'll need it again later. Make sure to transfer your labels onto the pieces. Now, with a 3 quarter inch piece of PVC pipe, trace and label the A stencil. Trace a second outline of the A piece right next to it. Then do the same thing tracing out two B stencils after the A's. Then cut a 10 and 1 quarter inch length of 1 inch PVC pipe. Mark a line at 1 and 3 quarters inch and label it top. And mark another line 1 and a half inch on the other side and label it bottom. If you cut your pieces perfect, you won't need to worry, but since I didn't, I'm going to clean them up and make them flush. You can use sandpaper, a Dremel, a belt sander, or even a file to do this for all your pieces. Using a rotary tool, hacksaw, or other tool, cut along the rest of the straight traced lines. Hold off on the rounded ones. If you mess up and cut in a little too far on parts of the E piece, don't throw a Kylo Ren tantrum and destroy any control panels. We can patch it with plastic later, and we'll be covering most of it up anyway. Now with your rotary tool sanding barrel, a file or other tool, we'll be doing the curved edges, smoothing out some cuts, adding some nicks, and sanding some beveled edges. Now that all your pieces are cut, we can start with the fun stuff. The B pieces will fit inside of the A pieces. Heat up the back of the A piece and place the B piece to let it cool. Let's take a look at how this will go together. J will go on the top side, E is the pommel, and A, B combos are the cross guards. J will slide on till the straight edges just above the gash line up with the line we drew on the top. Draw a reference line along the bottom of it as well. Then cut out a strip of your plastic about half the width of the two lines. Heat it up around the pipe and along the top line. Then heat the plastic again and slide J into place. Remove the excess plastic and place some of it inside the gash. Now cut your K pieces. They will be used to weld your cross guard onto the hilt. Place and heat it all the way through, then stick the cross guards on the side. If it doesn't press up tight, you can hit the pointed edges of the PVC with the heat gun until it becomes soft, then you can press it tight until it cools. You can smooth the plastic out in the gaps, and it'll give the look that they are welded on. You're getting there, stay till the end to find out how to win this lightsaber. Moving on to the hilt, place small pieces of plastic on the inside of each of the prongs. Cut out four squares from your sheet, roughly the width of the base of your hilt. Cut a nine inch length of one half inch PVC pipe. Press the PVC into the middle of the four squares heated together, followed by the pommel. Trim off the excess, Heat the inside pieces of plastic and the small strips at the tops of the prongs and slide the hilt into the pommel. Then let's make this lightsaber the beast that it is by adding some weight. I have these big concrete bolts that I will use. Then heat up a small ball of plastic and plug the gap and keep them from falling out or rattling around. Next, fill the gaps in the pommel with plastic so that it looks like solid pieces of metal. Side note, the best part about this build is that Kylo Ren cobbled his lightsaber together, so any mistakes or misshapen things will likely add to its character, so feel free to make like Han Solo and chill out. Okay, before you become Jabba's favorite decoration, let's jump back into the heat of things. Cut out your six D pieces. Next, cut out all three G pieces in one rectangle to start. Heat up the surface and press in three or four lines about one quarter inch up from the bottom. Then cut to separate the three pieces. These will go on the top of the grip, splitting every other gap between the pieces we just placed. Start with the gap just to the left of center, and place one in every other gap around the grip. Unlike the other pieces we've attached, this one we are heating the plastic on the grip and sticking the piece to it. We are not heating the G piece so as to maintain the detail we just did. Next, bring your E piece back into play. Cut straight down from either side of the first prong. Trace and cut five of those rectangles from your plastic sheet. They will go on top of the tines on the hilt to give them a raised look. While the plastic is hot, 
Using the aqua thermodigitation technique, press the plastic so that it increases in thickness as it moves down the pommel. Next up is the F-pieces, which will become welded bracers for the cross guard exhaust pipes. Use the bit of overhang to create a little welded look. And now for the H-piece! For some extra style, you can add a half circle at the bottom and press three grooves into it. M is for mighty. Place and heat this one on the top of the front of the saber and feel the power of the dark side begin to take root. L is for legit. That's what all your friends will say when you show them your lightsaber after adding this piece just above the gash. I is all Siths think about. There is no we in Sith. Heat all of the four pieces together. Let them cool and heat one side to place on the back of the saber one quarter inch down from the PVC edge. C is for comic relief. That's what Jar Jar was supposed to be. Cut out the inside with a razor blade, stack and heat the two pieces together. Using two small pieces of plastic, heat, round off, and press a cross into them to make two screw heads and attach to either side of the C piece. Then cut two pieces the shape of the bottom section and add them as well. Then place the whole piece flush with the bottom of the grip section, running up to overlap slightly on the grip. Now let's detail up the gash. Cut some small strips at a thin point in the plastic, at about one half inch long, and an eighth inch wide. These will be used to make some vent flaps. Use a reference image to shape out the rest of the gash how you would like. J is for Jabba the Hutt because it rhymes with cut, which is what you'll do here along the solid line and the dotted line tabs. Then trace the two pieces onto your plastic and cut them out. They will go on either side of the gash like you see here. Place and heat. On the right side piece, you will add this little piece of detail with the two rounded shapes and the lines inside it. Almost last, but definitely not least, Let's add these cool exhaust chamber details. Cut three strips of plastic, two small and one larger. Heat them up and place them around the inside of the pipe just in from the edge. Then heat them up again and press the ridges into them. Make sure that the top opening is large enough to fit a half inch PVC pipe inside. This can be used for painting and adding a blade to your hilt later on should the ghost of Obi-Wan tell you to do so in the future. Maintenant, le pièce de résistance. The large wire that runs the length of the grip into the pommel and the two small wires that run inside the gash. Cut a strip of plastic and roll out to a string of plastic about an eighth of an inch thick and about the length of the hilt, as well as a shorter, thinner string. Cut the shorter one into two pieces that will fit into the gash. Use a reference image for placement and gently heat the plastic in the gash and place the little wires on top, retaining their cylindrical shape. The larger wire will run from the top of the pommel in the first gap left of center and run up the grip to the left corner of the gash. Use the leftover from the small wires or roll more plastic to be used as staples holding in the wire along the hilt. It helps if you have a little plastic under where the staples go to help adhesion. Once you have the wire attached, your main build will be complete. And all you have left is to give it a sweet paint job. I included a link to a video that helped me learn about the dry brushing technique. And soon I will release a video on dry brushing myself, so you can check that out. Well, you did it! You have built your Kylo Ren lightsaber! Now you just need to somehow escape an imploding planet as it turns into a star and meet up with Snoke to finish your training so you can become even more hardcore in the sequel. Okay, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Your chance to win this lightsaber. Alright, here's what you need to do. First, subscribe. Then, share the video on Facebook. Third, comment on this video and tell me who your favorite Star Wars villain is. If you've already subscribed to my channel, don't worry. Just do steps two and three and you'll be entered to win as well. I'll be collecting all the YouTube handles that meet the three requirements, and then I'll have my system randomly generate a winner on screen in my next tutorial video. All right, well, I'll let you guys get to it. We've got some great stuff coming up, like Han Solo's DL-44 blaster and Deadpool's swords and back sheath. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to read your comments, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>